All right then guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading up to Yakushi Car Show. This is the first car show for me this year, which I'm very excited about. It has just started raining, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna go pick up George, who if you've watched some of my other videos, you would have seen before, and we're meeting a couple of people there. So let's get into it, let's get on the road, let's get up to the show, and let's look at some nice cars today. What's up George? Here is George. So we have got a 46 minute drive and I should have enough fuel, I was hoping, <laughs> to get there and then maybe, maybe back. But anyway, British Motor Museum is the next destination. We are pulling in now. We've met up with the other guys and we're just, we've got a convoy of, I don't know, like five DC5s and then these cars here. We were heading into the museum, which is now behind us and basically the car park is completely full so we're now filtering off this way and following all of these cars. So all parked up and it sounds like they've got way more cars here than they thought. And also, look at how much lower this car looks when it's on grass. But yeah, there's so many people here still just piling in. We're with some the Kaizen guys and also some DC5s, this DC5. Absolutely incredible. We're going to walk around, have a look at the cars, have a look at all the cars down there, and sort of get as much done as we can before it rains because I don't want to get soaked. This DC5 is incredible. It's got what it looks like ARC radiator, and this body kit is just unbelievably nice. This might be one of the nicest, one of the nicest DC5s I've ever seen. Big fan of this. This front bumper is sick as well. So we're going to venture down here now, have a little walk around. Then we'll probably come back up here because my car's over there. Have a look at this. This is an RB30, fully built engine by Tomei. Poured out to obviously a three litre. Oh, it's even got the Blitz controllable dampening. Greddy, this has just got the Nismo cap. Like this has just got everything you could ever want on this. I didn't even fully take in the Greddy manifold. The grey looks really good as well. And these work wheels. Wow. As there is way more cars here than we were expecting, we're gonna try and do some sort of methodology where we walk down the lines and look at stuff that way rather than just darting in and out. The definition of Jap repair. Cable tires solve every problem. I do seem to be drawn to pretty much every GTR, but this is, has got T37s on it as well, so forgive me. Oh, look at this wing. Look at the lip on that. This drift spec looking S15 front mount intercooler, these bolt-on rear fenders. Looks pretty nice. This wing's got some like cut-out thing into it. Big old cannon out the back. Pretty rare to see a silver one of these. Wheels are absolutely immaculate as well. Looks super nice. Super, super clean this one as well. This thing, super clean. Look at this spoon S2000, spoon front bumper, spoon wings and spoon rear. This is goals for me. This is heavenly. Interestingly, AP racing brakes though, not the spoon brakes, which is an interesting choice considering the, the rest of the car. This DC5 has got some nice bits, but these are the dream wheels. This is top of my list, as I mentioned in that video when I got my RPF ones. This color, this wheel. These are a super aggressive fit because these, I'm pretty sure these are wider front arches to accommodate a bigger wheel. But look how chunky the back looks as well. Just also check out the front bumper. It's even got a carbon diffuser. Look at how wide this Subaru is. Look at that rear arch. This is a wide boy. Rocket Bunny wide body kit. It's got front mount end cooler. So we've got a turbo. Gone for the whole kit though with the uh, all the flaps and everything. That's an extra. All those aero bits yeah pretty sure it is look at that it's a real kit this thing's wild i don't think i've seen one with the full aero kit and everything on it so i saw this car at a roll hard show last year and started speaking to the owner andy so i'll drop his instagram here if you want to check this car out some more it is absolute goals k20 itbs ek9 ray c28 spoon brakes i mean it's just perfect stripped out bridge seats Smooth engine bay by Honda. This is just absolute gold. Genuine Mugen front lip as well. 
look at this EP3. It's got a carb. I didn't even know these existed. It's a carbon Airwalker lip, same style as mine. Didn't know they existed in carbon. And then this engine bay is crazy. I'm lost for words, really. It just looks that good. This must be insane. Fully stripped rear. It's got the carbon filler neck. Oh, it's had loads of bits hydro dipped. Oh, I haven't seen that hydro dip before. Damn it. That looks really cool. Might have to do that. They look 3D printed, those gauge clusters. Perfectly in the in where the vents are. It's got the carbon boot. So much carbon on this. Carbon Mugen. Carbon front wings. Carbon spoon mirrors. Spoon style mirrors. Carbon side skirts. Carbon extensions. Carbon fuel filler cap. CP3's got it all. Whoa, it's even got a boot build. Didn't even spot that. Even these in carbon. Oh, that's cool. This is the problem with coming to shows, is you always see bits you want. This Honda pickup truck thing is sick. The colour is really nice, that metallic brown, which I don't think is going to show up on camera that well, but super clean. We saw this drive in. Look how tiny the mirrors are. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This CRX is sick, but look at these rear lights. Fully brown interior, it's got hybrid racing, short shifter. That is amazing. Oh, it's on ITBs as well. These two R32s next to each other are absolutely stunning. This has got crazy carbon aero on it. Carbon interior, bridge seats, work wheels. I mean, this is just like, if you're gonna build, full send build one of these with carbon everything, this is so sick. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, that's sick. And then next to it, look at me. Look at these workmeisters. And again, another one of my dream wheels. Don't think they'd suit an EP3, but on this, they look incredible. Another midnight purple. This is just so clean. This is just tastefully done. Minimal, just a nice, couple of nice bits. From my own school, though. Yeah, big fan of this. The Honda that started it all. The NSX Type R and Championship White. Super clean. So 140 of these were built. This is number 111. That's crazy, isn't it? Just being able to see one in, in the wild is just pretty insane. <laughs> this purple RX-7 is very nice. Another carbon diffuser. Offset with these gold Advan Racing wheels. This is a very nice colour combo. Little carbon ducktails. This is so nice. Oh, and diffu carbon diffuser as well. So we're at the Honda stand now. They always have ridiculous cars. I've seen this plenty of times before. So crazy, crazy supercharger setup. Again, look at it with C28. It's just the perfect wheel for this car. I've seen this S2000 before. I'm pretty sure this was at Tunafest last year. There's carbon everything, like there's carbon piping and everything in here. Pro charger. And then yeah, just wide. This paint is insane as well. Boot build set up on this. This is one of the biggest wings you could possibly get, surely. These front arches just look so good. Right, that is the whole bottom section done. Anyway, all of these cars here, I think, are for the show and shine. And then everything else, I think, is just general parking. But now there's all of these cars up here, so we're going to have a look around these. We were three cars or so behind this coming in. It's on bags, because it definitely wasn't this low driving in. But it ripped the front bumper off. Just parking on this grass here. This whole thing just, like, fell forwards. Just looks like, an, like a dart or an arrow just pointing into the ground. This FD2, raised wheels, AP racing front brakes, but this nitron suspension, if they've got that, that's some serious money. Looks so good. I don't know what it is about yellow cars I always seem to be drawn to, but with the white wheels, it just sets it off. Nice little carbon additions as well. This is cool. Yeah, big fan of this, it's really nice. Look at this. Was not expecting to see something like this here today. Such a rare color and a rare car. Oh, a little spoon sport sticker on the back. This is very nice to see here. Got the red Vicaros like mine. Look how faded the Honda badge is though. Very nice to see though. So we've finished all these cars up here. Loads of standard looking S2000s. I would love to own an S2000 one day. Would be very cool. Best car's got to be this Civic over here, I reckon. <laughs> to be honest, actually, this DC5 is very, very nice. 
All right then guys, that's gonna do it for this one because we've basically walked around the whole show. I don't think there's gonna be anything else that I need to show you. I'm showing you all the coolest stuff. We're probably gonna have another walk around, look at some bits with a bit more detail. Yeah, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing a car show in 2020. Make sure you check out some of my other videos for some more Civic related content. Subscribe, like the video, comment down below which is your favorite car, and I will see you guys in the next video.